All right, got a pretty good setup here. Things I like are the following. Club face is squared up behind the golf ball. Club and ball are just forward of center in your stance, perfectly fine. Your feet are about the width of your own shoulders. I like the fact that your feet, hips, and shoulders are lined up complementary to the leading edge of the club face. Grip, both hands working well as a unit. The one thing to give you more range of motion is we need to have more space to turn. And I can show you, look how your chin's tucked into your neck there versus our friend Steve Stricker, who's oh, got prominence, he's got, he's got space. So when you stay on the balls of your feet, that's one thing that fluctuated. When your weight's on your heels, you can't put your head up because you can't see. When you're on the middles of your feet, or you can actually raise up your chin, be balanced, and still view the ball. So that's verification that you're balanced, if you can do this. If you're sitting back like this, you tuck in again, right? Okay. So if we can raise up our chin, it just gives you more room to make your swing. We're going to watch that takeaway of yours if you take it away from the ball now. You can see that club's going to have to... Yeah, it moves a little bit outside the ball line, or slightly to the right of it. As you continue back, though, pretty good takeaway. Club starts to rise up. You get to about there, and you have no more room. And what happens is, on occasion, once we get here, we usually just continue with our arms, as opposed to finishing. Oh, right. body. So to give you more power, with less effort, a little bigger turn is going to help achieve that. So top of your swing, you kind of run out of space to turn, but your arms rise up in a pretty good position, regardless. And from that point, the club's going to come back down, and there tends to be a little bit of an early release or casting of the club head towards the ball. You recover quite well here, but uh, and you finish. But notice how through impact you're quite flat-footed. If we go back just to the impact point, so right through the ball, your body weight's still pretty much back here. If we had you with better balance by the way you set up, you'd be able to get off your right side a little earlier and push off and use your hips for more power. So all in all, stay balanced, have your chin up, and make a big old turn.